When it comes to Halloween movies, are you into tricks and treats or ghouls and goblins? Mm, well, BackstageOL.com, <laughs> Dave Morales is here to count down his picks for top Halloween movies. And you got something for the kiddos. Something right? for the kiddos the next hour. We're going to scare everybody. Okay, and, and by the way, in case you're wondering, I am dressed up as the entertainment reporter on Fox 26 for <laughs> Halloween. <laughs> Recognize you. How'd I do? <laughs> All right, let's jump right into it. Uh, no particular order. Goosebumps. I love this movie. The uh, story basically is a teenager teams up with the daughter of young adult horror author R.L. Stein. After the writer's imaginary demons are set free on the town of Madison, Delaware. Yes, they are based on the horror novels by R.L. Stein. Stars Jack Black. We had the interviews years ago for this one. I, it's just a fun movie. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of these I noticed when we were doing this list are fun. Hocus Pocus. Has to be on the list. Classic. Uh, a teenage boy. Why do teenagers cause so much trouble in these movies? <laughs> all of That's them. The theme, all of them. <laughs> There's one more coming up. Uh, a teenage boy named Max and his little sister moved to Salem, where he struggles to fit in before awakening a trio of diabolical witches. Uh, of course, Bette Midler, Sarah Jessica Parker, uh, Kathy and Jimmy star in this one. They've actually there's a sequel now on mm -hmm. Disney Plus that's fun. This is a Halloween movie if there ever was one, and people dress up as the trio. I, I've seen friends oh, yes. go out trick or treating mm -hmm. as them. All right, Hotel Transylvania, Dracula. He operates a high-end resort away from the human world. Uh, he goes into overprotective mode when a teenage boy yet again <laughs> discovers the resort and uh, falls for the Count's. Teenage Daughter, those teenagers. Uh, it stars Adam Sandler, and of course, this has been a very successful movie franchise. Mm -hmm. They just keep putting these out, and people go to see them. It's made a ton of money. Mm -hmm. All right, my favorite on the list, this is a classic, Nightmare Before Christmas. This is Halloween. Jack Skellington, <laughs> the king of Halloween Town, discovers Christmas Town, and uh, but his attempts to bring Christmas to Halloween Town well, disaster, confusion, a lot of problems. It is written by Tim Burton. A lot of people think Tim directed this. Ah. He did not. Uh -huh. Maybe because it's called Tim Burton's Nightmare Before Christmas. Mm -hmm. He actually wrote it. Uh, and then Beetlejuice. This is from 1988. Wow. And it still holds, I mean, it's, this is just an awesome classic. Mm -hmm. uh, the story, if you don't know, the spirits of a deceased couple are harassed by an unbearable family that has moved into their home. They hire a malicious spirit to drive them out. Alec Baldwin, Gina Davis, Michael Keaton star, and this one, of course, and if you yell, Beetlejuice, 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 <laughs> things happen. Yeah, oh, Chelsea, <laughs> Chelsea's already <laughs> reacted to that one. But um, yeah, stick around because coming up next hour, the scary ones, like mm, these are the okay. terrifying. This, these are for family. You can play in the background tonight, trick or treating. But mm. next hour, we're gonna get different ya. story. Okay, put all the right. kiddos to bed first. <laughs> <laughs> what at nine in the morning? <laughs> oh, you meant later. <laughs> After <laughs> trick or treating. That's true. That's true. <laughs> Give us some ideas. Uh,